Good morning, brothers and sisters in faith. Um, I've been sharing uh, the dreams and visions Lord revealed to me since 2016 about what is coming in this world. And today, um, Lord revealed to me since this February, uh, little by little, small and unbelievable miracles. And uh, one miracle happened this week, and I have a new uh, flower. I I planted small uh, flowers, three new, and because of new plant, my attention goes uh, into new plant. So because of that, my old plant, spider plant. I my spider plant was my first plant. Spider plant become, uh, I think, jealous. And I saw uh, this way one of the day, uh, she looks yellow and she was uh, withering. Like, um, uh, she's laying, laying flat, I cannot stand. And the color also not green, yellowish. And I was really sad because that spider plant, my first plant for the last four years, she gave a birth to little babies and I gave, gave my friends, gave, keeping away and she made nearly five, six new, pot, new pots. And I was holding up, I was holding up the spider plant, said, please don't be jealous, you are my first plant. And you last, you last for years and years, you are green. Those flowers, they have only one season. And in the end, you will remain with me. And I just, I was talking to her. And then I said, Lord, please heal her. I just said, I was holding the plant. Lord, please heal her. And in my eyes, I thought I was watching the the documentary of the nature, like a film, in my eyes, the yellowish leaves become green in my eyes. And I felt, I felt difference, the, 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 the strength on, uh, on my hands. So I left my hands. It was, it was lying flat. And then when I left my hands, Tasty, standing, it happened in a few seconds. And Lord revealed to me many miracles since February. And he told me in this way, um, people will see more miracles through you so that they will believe in me, through you by me. So Lord revealed miracle, not just only for my face, it's for the people around me, because some people are stubborn, so that if we follow his word, because we love his word, we follow him, that's the best way we can grow in a relationship with him, because Lord is the truth, word, words, with him, with our Creator, our God, in the beginning of his creation, and word is God. But if they don't love his word, if they don't read his word, if they don't want to listen his word, Lord reveal miracle. He healed demon possessed people, he healed so many diseases, and Whenever he healed the sick, he told them to not sin again. John chapter 5, John chapter 8, I shared last time. To not sin again. If you do, worse thing will happen. So most sickness was, was caused by our sin. Some, some sickness is for God's glory and some sickness is for calling, calling, calling back home, but so that, so that 
um, he reveal he reveal his power so that Lord said, go home, tell your family, tell your neighbors what happened to you. And so that those one of one of the demon possessed men, Mark chapter five, he wanted to come with Jesus. And Jesus said, no, go home to tell your family so that they will believe in me. So he visited 10 towns of the region so that he become the witness of the Lord. So Jesus revealed miracle, not just only me, for the people surround me. That means if you are eagerly preaching his word, if you have passion for people's soul, if you really want to be soul winner and keep walking with him, every moment I practice this way, he's my, my breathing is his love. Without his presence, without his love, the loving him and love from him, I can't breathe because I lost totally, I lost hope on us, on my life. That moment, she just healed me when I, when I call his name after one and a half years of struggling with my depression. And his, his love become my breed and I walk, uh, I walk with him months and seasons, years and years. And the time last February is about six years, uh, six years journey with him. And he revealed, since February, he revealed more miracle. And last Friday, the, the miracle of healing upon this lady she was in mental hospital for nine weeks. So now uh, I visited her, her new place. Now she visited me and we, uh, we went to the park for Bible study. And then when, I, um, when we sat down for Bible study after lunch, and I saw there were so many ravens everywhere. I know there are always ravens. The, the, the blackbird, they are waiting for the food left. But that day it was so noisy everywhere. They are really making sound, and it was too much. It really annoyed me. So that moment, two birds actually fighting, killing each other, really, really attacking each other. And when I saw, I see straight away the dark spirit trying to attack my angel. So I put my hands, hands up, up and I prayed in tongue and I told her, look what it happened. Those, those, those dark birds, the ray, am I right, at ravens? Those dark birds will go away because they part of our study. I put my, so I'm praying in tongues and I pray in tongues for 10, 15 seconds, and then suddenly they stop fighting, suddenly become quiet, and many of them already flew away, and some of them still there, but they were far away, and they didn't make any noise until I finished Bible study. So I told her, look, whatever you saw, something, animal or human, any people surround you, Anyone annoyed you, anyone attack you, pray. See everything spiritually because we live this shadow of the spiritual world. So see everything spiritually and pray in tongue. Even if yesterday I met two uh, atheist friends with my friend, she is my Bible study. So she and I, uh, we had a conversation with them. 
And during the conversation, I wanted to reveal what I learned. So I talk about、uh, money because we, we heard about inflation from America, it will affect the whole world. So they worry about their mortgage, they worry about their future, of course. And I said, if we, if we have that worry, obsession about money, You can't, have a good, you can't have a good sleep. And even if we, we chase the money, even if we chase success, if we can't control, we can't control the success, we can't control the luck. And I learned this from the Bible. And now I am free from money. I am free from desire of the, this world, desire of success. Now, I don't chase the world anymore. And I, I share a little bit for these atheists. And I hope I plant a seed in their heart. I said, if you learn a little bit about, about the money, money is enemy. If you learn a little bit today, you will have a good sleep. I hope they had a good sleep last night. And so that day, yesterday, That conversation, when conversation turned into politics, I prayed in tongues. So they were talking loudly, so they didn't hear my prayer, but my friend next to me, she heard I was praying in tongues. And then suddenly something happened, and that conversation cha-、uh, changed into what I want to talk about. So wherever you go, when you meet 80s friends, Or, or Christian friends who are asleep, pray in tongue and lead the conversation, listen, listen to their,、um, their problem, their、uh, weakness. Keep praying in tongue and you know, you know what you have to talk about. And last Friday, my friend she wanted to share her face with this、uh, atheist. Frenchman. So he wanted to go to Wimbledon tennis. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to go, but、uh, because of、uh, evangelism, because of sharing faith, I went. There were so many、um, devils a t t a c k from the beginning. I had to wait for one hour. And so in the end, we sat down for the lunch. And I was praying. In tongue, in my heart, and suddenly I had a question.、Um, he, he published his first book,、um, it's, uh, it's Thriller. And I said, when you, when, you, when you wrote your story that you made in your imagination of a crime scene and the, the criminal's、uh, psychology, their thought. Their、uh, cruel, um, violent um, scene. How can you sleep tonight? Because I know dark spirit will help him. Dark spirit will keep him. Imagination, dark, imagina- dark, dark spirit will help him. I know devil, devil and Satan will help him. He said, How do you know? That's my weakness. That's my problem. I can't sleep. So, that as I share my、uh, little testimony about, about、um, how, why, that's why, why we need, why we need、um, the spirit,、uh, why we have to know the spiritual world. So, so these things are、uh, kind of real. Angel helped me when I prayed in tongue. Angel helped the circumstance and Lord, lead, Lord gave me an idea what kind of conversation I have to lead. So, so that, that、uh, happened this week, so I wanted to share with And this through the week,、um, another、um, Lord reveal, I read、uh, June chapter. I think 13. And she just said, 
If I don't wash your feet, you won't belong to me. And Peter said, because Peter thought his feet is dirty, how he can let his load to wash his dirty feet. So then, no, 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 you don't wash, you don't, you never wash my feet. But she just said, unless I wash your, unless I wash your feet, you all belong to me. That means, if we don't wash our feet daily, we don't belong to him. If we thought I am saved, if we have false confidence in our salvation, we don't wash our feet. We don't take seriously our sin every day. But whenever I, my tears dried, whenever my tears were dried, in my prayer, Lord gave me a warning sign because I have to fill up the bottle of my tears before seeing him. And one day, during my prayer in the middle of the park, suddenly the rain, rain came. I was soaking wet. And then after, um, after heavy rain, like a large shower, I see the sky. Like, you know, after rain, when, you, when suns come out, you see everything shiny and sparkling. And that moment, when I was running um, nearly, nearly near home, and I saw the 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 bright the, the bright sun in front of me, bright light in front of me, and Lord was standing there like a hand like this, like a, like a daddy. Daddy is waiting for us. My heart was really achy with his love, his love you cannot even imagine because of his love my heart was really torn down, really achy and I really achy here I can't even say one word I can't because my throat is really tight my throat is tight, I can't give any word my heart is achy with his love he was holding his hands like that. And you know, you you really miss him. You really want to see his face. You want to see his hands. You want to see how you want to touch his clothes. You want to see really him. I really want to see him sometimes. Sometimes I I, I, I sometimes I was watching his a portrait of artists who saw him in heaven and I was imagining seeing him and hugging him the moment when I see him in my spirit one day we go we go we go to heaven and he may return before that I believe but Lord show me that day He's waiting. He's waiting. Hands open like this. He's waiting for our, 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 our time of entering his kingdom. He he have bigger. He have a bigger. He have a bigger expectation. He got bigger. He, you can't compare to his love, his his passion, his 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 his. his he, I can't even explain. His 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 welcome is much bigger than our our desire to see him. His desire. His desire to see us in heaven much, much bigger than our desire. Imagine um, 
you left your little children, little, your little babies, because of your work. You left your home, you left your country for God's kingdom or for your work. Even if you call them every day or every weekend through, through internet, even if you saw them, but you can't hug. That's how I feel our Lord. He wants to hug us. He wants to play with us. He wants to spend time with us in heaven. But we have, we have this mission to finish. We have this calling to finish on us before entering his kingdom so that he can give us his reward so that he's building our eternal home so he was he was waiting his heart his, he, he, he gave me a key heart that day so we have to wash our feet every day Jesus said I already wash whole your body in his blood, in his sacrifice. He washed whole our body already, but we have to wash our feet daily. It's just so important. Otherwise, you all belong to me. So that, that's why Jesus just said, when he healed those sinners, do not sin again daily. Wash your feet, do not sin again. He is taking seriously our sin because sin block between he and I. So we are descendants of Adam. Jesus, he is last Adam. Between he and I, between human and Messiah, if we don't repent, we don't. You don't, I don't need Messiah. If we really need Messiah, where, where, which part of our life, where we need his presence for cleansing, not just answering our prayer for what we need on us. He knows what we need on us. Our hair, were counted. He knows our numbers of our hair so that we, we seek, we seek his, his, his healing on, my, on our sickness, his help so that I can repent. He will give us spirit of repentance. So that without true repentance every day, we don't need the Messiah. We don't have any relationship with him. Because even if we love him, we confess we love him. But if we sin, if you didn't repent, the sin caused death between him and I. So that if you are going through the loneliness in your life, Lord gave you second or third chance to build, to build strong relationship with Him, also to repent everything what we've done, to spread the miracle happened with me in my childhood. It could be 10 years ago, it could be 20 years ago, Lord gave you new life. Someone was died, but Lord gave her second chance to live this life on us, but still disobey. Lord is waiting for your testimony to spread, to tell people. Jesus said, Mark chapter 5, tell people what happened to you. Do not follow me. He wanted to follow Jesus, but that person have mission to tell people so that we, we have this 
receive these miracles not just only for myself, for others who are stubborn because they own read the Bible, they own listen my testimony, other the Bible teaching, they own listen my Bible teaching. But they saw miracle happened to my plant. They saw the woman was healed from mental hospital. They saw what happened to my toothache. People saw got healed my gum disease. They saw what happened to my mouth. And those miracles they can't deny because they saw what happened to me. So that you will, God, Jesus will reveal more miracles into you, into your life. And so uh, if you are going through the loneliness in your life, look, Adam. Adam, when God, God created Adam in his image, Adam was very close to the Lord. He was growing in spirit. But one day, God saw Adam was lonely. So that God created woman from his one of the, his bone, and the the Adam fall. He he fell in love with Eve, but Adam listened to Eve more than our God. That's the beginning. That's the beginning of falling. That's the beginning of corruption. Corrupted mind. That's the beginning. When when they ate the forbidden fruit from good and evil. That's the result. Before that happened, already Adam was little by little by far from God because he he loved he loved Eve more than more than Lord. So that in your life, if you love your children, your only child, if you love your husband, your wife, God gave you because you are lonely. But if you love them more than our God, God see our heart. That's the beginning. That's the beginning of beginning of corrupted our heart, our mind, beginning of sinning. Without anything, without faith, is a sin. Romans chapter 8. The faith, faith means act of love. Act of love for the Lord. Act of love for the others. But love your Lord first. So, so we, God is helping us uh, growing our face on us because once we go to heaven we don't need a face anymore because we will live in the reality the reality the heaven itself reality because we will see that's why angel when you read Hebrews chapter 2 the writer comparing comparing Angel and Messiah, Moses and Messiah, Jesus, because he want the the writer want to reveal Jesus is superior, more than angels, more than Moses and any other prophets. And why angel obey better than human? A question during the Thursday study, and then calls they have got different answer. My understanding is, firstly, they see, they saw God's work, they saw God's punishment in hell, they saw God's judgment upon fallen angels, they saw they are witness, so they obey. Secondly, they don't have flesh, they are not descendants of Adam. We are descendants of Adam, we have this flood blood and flesh, so that we have temptation. It's harder, it is harder to obey, but Jesus knows our temptation. He's helping us by Holy Spirit. And third, why they obey easily? 
because God created them. God created them. They receive so much joy when they obey. But when we obey, do we have that joy? We are struggling. When we are struggling in our obedience, that's why when we love Him more, it's easy to obey. So when you read Isaiah chapter 56, 10, watchmen are blind, ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, they are sleeping. These are watchmen are leaders of church, prophets, those are called by the Lord, but if they if they love Eve, because you are lonely, God gave you a partner, God gave you a co-worker in a church, God gave you children. If you love those, you become blind. And if you love the money through your ministry work, if you love the power, if you love standing in front of people, True leaders are serving leader, not only not only standing in front of congregation, so that we must follow what Jesus showed on us. So that Jeremiah thirteen sixteen. Give glory to the Lord before He calls us lead to darkness, before your feet stumble upon the dark mountain. So that we, we I know if we don't wash our feet daily, the sin, little by little, little by little, once the sin touch the top of the bottle, it will cause darkness and we will stumble upon the dark mountain even if we are saved. So that, let's remember what you just told Peter, if I don't wash your feet, you own belong to heaven. It's narrow gate to into the heaven so that we have to wash daily let's take it seriously our sin so that we can enter the holy of a holy place psalm chapter nine, uh, 91 verse 1 whoever dwell in the secret place of the most high will rest in the shadow of almighty 